Welcome to Bop's Garden. We're here in the northwest hills of Connecticut at the end of March, and we're beginning another season of work on our Peroskia. Now, we also already have a video on Peroskia, or Russian sage, uh, that will give you go into more detail. In this particular video, I want to emphasize how you work from the previous season's framework. We've already done a rough cut here because you got to get all this stuff out of the way before you actually can get in here. So let's see how we can evaluate our previous season's framework. Every season is going to be a little bit different and each one of these frameworks is going to present with its own problems. So you just don't want to be blind and just whack things down. You have to think. So let's take a look and I'm going to talk out loud to myself and you'll get an idea of what I'm thinking. So over here, we have, it's best to get down on the ground level with this. You can see we've already taken these down uh, to where they should be. And we have uh, a one that's in here where it's gotten very woody. The buds don't start until we get all the way up here. So then we have a good one over here. It's a nice uh, pencil thickness. This is what we want. And we have a nice one here. This one's a little thin, but we can use that as well. So basically what we want to do is we don't want this to get so woody all the way up and through here before the buds come. We'd rather have the buds down here. So thinking this through, the best thing to do is just to take this out. It's, it's, it's not going to be good because the next season, it will probably get even taller without the buds. So this was last year we pruned this down to this height. This is the framework. And we don't really need this one. And we'll take this down to within uh, a couple buds here, nice and low. And we can use this one up in here to establish our framework. And you can see this one's broken here. And there. And that's what we have. Now, looking this over again, I don't, I do see some buds right in through here, but I don't think we could use this. So I'm just going to get rid of it. So you just go slowly and evaluate each one. And now we've got a nice result in here. And these need to come down as well. Remember to take out these really thin ones in here. So let's go look at another one. So here's another one with last year's framework, which was in through here. This is the old. This has gone through three or four seasons here. And we've left this long now so I can show you what I'm thinking about this. It's starting to get really woody in through here, but we do have some buds here. Now, if we did not have these buds, I would take this whole thing out right in through here. But we do have some buds down in here. So all we need to do now is to shorten this down to some of the other buds here. We have a lot of woody growth in here and the buds don't start for at least that amount of time in here that much so we can get rid of that and this one again it's all the way the buds don't start until up here now if we let this go it's just going to go up and up and up and it's going to be all bare like this and it's not going to have any flowers so we got to kind of start over so the framework for the next season is going to change. We can bring this down to this level. We can bring this down to this level. And um, this is a little too high. And we got a good result in here. So as long as we have these buds down in here, I won't worry. But the next year, you'll have to reevaluate this again. Each season, it presents its own little challenges. So this is the kind of thing you need to watch for. So be sure to look at that other video on Peroskia. Um, if we don't prune it like this, it, it will not bloom. And um, we just need to keep up with this for each year. So thank you for watching Bob's Garden, and we'll see you next time. Remember to share, subscribe, and comment on my videos, and be curious, not judgmental.